Alrighty, welcome back ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Devil's Den Hockey. Tonight, I got great news for you guys. The cat is out of the bag. New Jersey defeats the Florida Panthers 4-1 in regulation, getting another two points, taking out the defending champions of the NHL and stopping their second, their seventh game consecutive win streak. So let's get into this game. Uh, this is a game in which you really can't complain about really anything. You got great offense. You got uh, goals from depth scoring. You got an amazing, one of the best Brat to Hughes goals I've ever seen in their entire careers. Brat gets it, gets it, enters the zone. Spinner Ram is on his backhand. Backhand saucer pass. The pass is in the air. It goes, it goes, it bounces onto the ice. And Jack Hughes, with the eyes of a peregrine falcon, locks onto this puck. And with the eye-hand coordination of a, I don't know what, taps it in. And it's one nothing uh, Devils. What a great game. You got goals from Timo Meyer in the second period on a breakaway. You got goals from Paul Cotter on an almost breakaway, thanks to Nico Heischer, who draws the De Florida defenseman to the middle of the ice and then puts it right over to Cotter, who rips off the fastest shot that we've seen from him so far this year. Cotter gets his seventh of the year. He had seven goals in total last year with the Vegas Golden Knights. This year, he has seven goals in less than 20 games. Fitz did a fantastic job in picking this guy up in the offseason. I knew he was going to be something special. I talked about him in the offseason. I talked about him when we first got him. I said, this is the kind of guy that New Jersey really needs. A gritty, hardworking, bust-your-ass kind of guy. And Paul Cotter has come up in spades for the Devils so far. Not only that, when we're talking about working hard, every single ship, gritty player, works his ass off constantly and is starting to get rewarded for it, it's guys like Dawson Mercer. Guys, I've told you before, and I'll say it again, we are a million percent on the Dawson Mercer uh, bandwagon. 100%. I understand, again, this guy's not as flashy as Brad. He's not as flashy as Hughes. But guess what? This guy works harder than almost any other guy on the team. Uh, Nico Heischer set aside, okay? He is he single-handedly busts his ass and he's getting rewarded for it. He's getting more ice time on better lines and he's getting the opportunities to prove himself. Dude almost had a breakaway goal if it wasn't for Spencer Knight flashing the lever with the glove uh, and, 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 and just stonewalling him. But like, Mercer is playing so freaking well and it's important to like, I know we all talk about Brad and Hughes and Hughes and, 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 and Meyer and the rest of the guys, and we 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 we, we, had, we at times blow smoke up their asses, and sometimes it's warranted, and sometimes it's not. But guys like Mercer are, are, are important to highlight because they're the kind of guys that, again, while not being as flashy as Hughes or Bratt or Meyer or the rest of them, they work hard and they're given opportunities to succeed based on their work ethic. Um. Back to the game again. Uh, defense, I think, played great tonight. I think Luke Hughes had arguably one of his best games all year, if not one of his best games in his career, bar none. The guy played absolutely phenomenal, took away so many chances from Florida. And while the second period wasn't the greatest period of hockey I've ever seen, I think the defense actually helped um, uh, take away a lot of chances that Florida would have had to get really crystal clear and, and, and great scoring opportunities that were shut down by guys like Luke Hughes, like uh, like guys like Kovacevic, who all also had a massive impact during the game. But the guy who I think probably deserves the MVP tonight uh, is easily Jacob Markstrom. He had his best game as a devil tonight. Guy faced almost 35 shots on net, let in one goal, which arguably wasn't even his fault anyways. Uh, he played great. He looked calm 
comfortable. He didn't have a lot of really frantic or crazy movements in the net, which I've criticized him in the past for having. The guy played great. He came up big when was needed. There was a time where Florida had a two-man advantage. I wasn't even nervous about Markstrom being the issue. I was worried about the defense being an issue. Markstrom played so freaking well tonight. And while he has games where he lets in a soft goal here or there, or he lets in like five to seven goals in, uh, in, in a single game, it's nights nice, like to tonight well gun nights like tonight where it's important to give credit where credit is due and markstrom the defense and the depth offense all deserve the credit tonight because they played great here's my question where was this uh where was this against san jose like actually we 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 do everything right tonight but we couldn't do it against san jose make that make sense um, but it doesn't matter. We got two points against the defending Stanley Cup champions, and we put an end to their seven-game winning streak. That is a huge win. It's a statement win, and it's a kind of game that we need to look at that and go, okay, this is the building block. This is the block upon which I will build my franchise, okay? Um... Everyone played great tonight. It's, it's a really nice game where, like, there's not really a whole lot of criticism. The second period was a little iffy, where I think that after the first period and Florida was like, oh, shit, like, maybe New Jersey um, can't just be kind of, like, uh, screwed around with. They came, Florida came out in the second period and, I'm sorry, whooped our ass for at least 15 minutes of the second period they manhandled us but the defense was there the goaltending was there you see what happens when like teams put on the pressure and your defense and your goaltender matches the energy to like no nah, i ain't letting shit in right now i don't care how much pressure you put on me i will not bend i will not break so kudos to the defense and kudos to marksman for playing a great game tonight um yeah, I, I, it's hard for me to say more than I've already said. I just, I think that everyone had a great night. And this is the kind of game where you want to take that and go, okay, we have Florida again on Thursday. We know we can beat them. We know our goaltending can be great. We know our defense can be great. We know our forwards can score on all cylinders from any one of our lines. Let's take this blueprint of a game, this great game and put it over here to deal with on Thursday. So that's what we need to do to bring home the W against Florida on Thursday night. So I think that's going to be it. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know much more to say guys. It was a great, <coughs> it was a great game overall. I don't really have much more to say. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I think it was Hughes or Brad. Oh, I think it was Hughes. Jack Hughes, who got uh, his 300th career point tonight. So, you know, kudos to Jack. Great job, buddy. Uh, he's going to get he's gonna get hundreds more with the Devils. He's going to get hundreds more points with the Devils. It doesn't even matter. He's going he's gonna to hit, like, 500 points in probably, like, two, two and a half years. I'd be willing to bet that. Getting, get like, 100 points, 70 to 100 points every year. I think Jack is, is, is easily capable of doing if he's firing on all cylinders every single year. And he's not... And remember, remember, remember. He has 300 points. Where in previous seasons, he hasn't even played the whole season. He's played, like, 40 to 60 games in injuries. And he's still hitting 300 career points. Anyways... That's going to be it for me, guys. I will see you on Thursday when the New Jersey Devils play the Florida Panthers again. Let's go get those two points. I'll talk to you then. Adios.